Hi folks, Chris here from Hitting the Trail. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Whatever Wednesdays. So today is all about hard water. You know the, uh, the stuff that makes your skin dry, uh, makes your water taste bad, smell bad, leaves a nice hard water spots all over your faucets, uh, can actually lead to clogging up those nozzles on your shower heads and your faucets. Uh, can build up inside of your hot water tank and end up you know leaving mineral deposits and scaling up inside of that and causing damage that stuff well today i'm going to help you alleviate some of that issue so susanna corbin and i have been full-time rving for two years and one thing we found all over the united states is issues with hard water uh, whether it's our skin is constantly dry or we're constantly having to clean the nozzles and stuff on the showers to get that scale off or even honestly having to descale our coffee maker because it builds up in there. So we decided to go out and figure out a solution to the problem. And all I did really was Google, do they have soft water tanks for RVs? And that's where I came across this. So this is the on the go portable water softener. And this is the double model which is 22 inches tall, nine and a half inches wide, and weighs 32 pounds. They also have a standard model, which is same height, six and a half inches wide, and only 18 pounds. Um, so what the big difference obviously is, is capacity. The standard one has a much smaller capacity. I believe it's 320 to 800 gallons, whereas this goes between 640 and 1600 gallons, and that's the amount of water you're gonna get through it per each uh, generation. And the generation is basically talking about one usage of the salt that's inside of there. You do need to do maintenance on this. So depending on your water hardness that you'll have to test regularly, uh, we'll probably be testing our water about every two weeks because we move a lot. And if you see that your water is starting to build up, you're gonna wanna do a regeneration. And that's for this is simply two 26 ounce packs of regular table salt. And I'm not gonna be doing a regeneration in this video because this is brand new. And when you get it out of the box, it's already set up ready to go. So what do you get in the box? Uh, obviously you're gonna get the tank, you are gonna get a hose, you're going to get the test strips that are gonna be critical in checking the values and how hard your water level is. You're gonna get the hose adapter, tape, instructions, and then an updated instruction set that actually has thorough back flush instructions, draining, storage, post storage, capacity information, regeneration information, and also sanitization. And then another one that's going to be very handy they have a capacity to your water softener so this will tell you based on the average usage they say that two people use about 50 gallons of water a day so based off of that number and how hard your water is you can kind of calculate how often you're going to need to change that now because we move all the time that water hardness throughout different rv parks is going to be changing so we're just going to test our water about every two weeks and then when a regeneration is needed, we'll just go perform that. So again, I'm not gonna perform a regeneration in this because this comes ready to go out of the box. And now I'm gonna show you how to install this, which is very, very simple. Before I do the installation, I'm gonna test the water in two ways. One, I'm gonna test it without any filter on it. And then I'm gonna test it with one of those small blue Camco water filters that we normally use. Uh, we still don't have our plan for our big water filter system yet. So that's what we're starting with. If you've got any ideas on how you set up your water filters, let me know because I think we want to upgrade, but you are still going to want to run a water filter before you get to your water softener. So let's test the water and see where we're at. All right, so we've got a thin stream coming out. So you're just going to take your strip, set it in the water for three seconds. And then you're going to compare that to the chart. It says immediately match to the color chart below and then complete the matching within one minute. So maybe hard to tell, but it is changing color. So already we're about 30 seconds in and we're starting to get up into that 425 parts per million, 250 parts per million. So right in there. So we do have hard water. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the Camco water filter on there. The water start running through there a little bit. And then again, three seconds in the water. Two, three. 
we'll set that down. So again, we are starting to see color changes. And you're supposed to wait one minute. But I can already tell that even with the Camco on there, that's not going to change the hard water. All right. So now we're going to hook everything up and we're going to run it. The water softener comes with, like I guess it's pretty easy, right? So it comes with the in labeled in and the out labeled out. So we're just going to turn that around. We're going to take these caps off. Now, if you're going to hook your hose directly into the in port, you probably don't need some type of elbow or something a little bit more flexible. But I want, we like to run our filter directly at the end of the hose, and I want to run a filter before water actually gets into the softener. So I'm going to attach this first. Now, after I get all this set up, I am going to go buy an additional elbow because I want to keep as much pressure off this as possible. And I may actually just put a different hose on there, a longer hose, because I don't want any of this pressure. This is a hard brass fitting, but I want to keep as much pressure off as possible. All right, so this is for the first time only. Uh, on the regeneration process, that'll be different. But for the first time that you set this up, you're going to want to flush the system on the double for four to six minutes. On the standard model, it's actually only two to three, I believe. And then on the large one that is not really portable, uh, that one's seven to nine. So we're just going to turn the water on and let it go for four to six minutes. All right, so now that we have fluid coming out, we're going to start the timer for six minutes. Now one thing I probably would recommend is maybe not doing this in a muddy section. Um, this ground here is probably not the best spot. So while that is running its initial four to six minute cycle, I just want to take a second to talk a little bit about another consideration with hard water. So your hot water tank uh, is actually one of those areas that you need to really start thinking about. So inside that hot water tank, there's a anode rod and that anode rod is also called a sacrificial rod. So that rod is going to help protect the inside of your hot water tank from corrosion. Uh, and we'll have another video out about that, about changing out your rod, checking your rod, etc. So while hard water may not necessarily damage the rod itself or cause it to corrode faster, it will lead to a buildup of minerals just inside the tank itself. So having a soft water system is going to help protect your hot water tank a little bit more and it could help you save about six to eight hundred dollars in replacement costs in the end so just something to take into consideration um, for us that was like kind of an afterthought we didn't think about that we just thought about the taste the smell the water spots everywhere the dry skin um, we just wanted to have a i guess a better quality of life since we full-time rv so for us the on the go water softener was kind of a no-brainer once we figured out it actually existed so, all right, let's go back and we'll finish setting up the water softener. All right, so this has now been running for actually about seven minutes. So I let it go a little bit longer. So we're gonna test the water, three seconds. And already I can tell a huge difference. There's no change. It's now been a full minute since I tested it and no discoloration. So now that it's primed and ready to go, I'm gonna hook it up to the trailer. that simple. Now I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so the system's on. It's all hooked up. And we're going to test again in a couple weeks just to see. But already, I mean, just that initial test on it to see where the soft water was at, I... Very impressed. So, if you have any questions, concerns, just uh, leave us a comment down below. If you're running one of these, let us know how you feel about it. 
And then again, if you've got a setup for a water filtration system that's easy to use, easy to maneuver, let me know. We would like to kind of move away from this into something that's a little bit more long term because we change these out every single month. So thanks for watching. If you like this video or if it helped you, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. And as always, life's an adventure. Hop on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.